think that what we're fighting about is stupid Just cause you don't agree don't mean it's stupid Lately communication feels so useless Savage If we don't got that obsessive love then what are we doing? I don't ask so much from you It's like you don't got the time to lose Make me feel like I'm a burden I tell you how I'm hurting, no You just take your story to take your day I ain't over it Embarked on the ultimate odyssey through the dark night of the soul It's not just a phase, it's a transformation Where shadows confront light and turmoil births tranquility Dare to face the abyss and emerge enlightened This is where you lose yourself only to discover who you are meant to be. The night is darkest before dawn. Brace for the journey that will redefine your spirit. The dark night of the soul, a passage to your truest self. Get your dark night of the soul oracle deck made by the spiritual savage by clicking the link in the description box below this video. What's up, everybody? It's me, your Uncle Seven Nine, the Spiritual Savage, here to bring you a message. It's currently eight seventeen; just turned eight seventeen, so something's moving forward here. On August eighteenth, twenty twenty-four, seventy-five degrees Fahrenheit and clear here in the cities. Right. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know all my uploads are uploaded. You feel me? I don't know if I'm gonna uh, upload this tonight, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what the message is. See if it needs to go out. Tapped in, got some God bumps here, to light some sage. Thank you, Dad, for bringing me here, for allowing me to get through this day. For good downloads, we are in the moon. I think the the moon's the full moon's tomorrow, isn't it? I should probably plug her back up, huh? She's very useful for those kind of things. But let's we'll, let's just check and see when is the next full moon? Okay. Nope, that's not what I want here. I hope everybody's having a wonderful evening, though. I definitely do. All right. When is the next full moon? Tomorrow. Yeah, full moon tomorrow at 2.26 p.m. So, okay. So, we're definitely tapping into some moon energy. I like to use the, uh, the dark mirror deck for that. Let's see if it's in this one here. Yeah, so everything, everything. I hope everything is fine with everybody this evening. Yeah, smell like sage still. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really feel like digging for them. So we'll, we'll use something else here. We'll use the dice. We'll get three from the dice here. Um, and then that could be the overall energy for this message or that will add to it here. But hopefully everybody's well protected. You know, there's, I'm telling you now, I'm hearing it. There's going to be a lot of magic being thrown around. There, there already has been, at least for the last three days, uh, two days anyway. Um, and, they're, of course, they're not going to stop because we got three days after that, too. So, uh, you know, they don't stop. We don't stop. You know what I'm saying? So we got to just protect ourselves. Psalms 91, burn some sage, burn some Palo Santos. Uh, I like to use frankincense, just frankincense the the frankincense resin works. It does a really good job of clearing out the energy, though. Um, I also got some lavender uh, resin to go in the resin burner, and it smells it smells really good. Um, I, I really like it. So um, it does get smoky, though. So, uh, but let's start off with um, before I get that. Let's get a, um, an angel whispers card out here. All right. Okay. <laughs> The potato greens are done though. They fire. They real. They ain't really spicy. They fire though. Okay. All right. I'll eat. I, I like for them to settle overnight before I eat them. Um, so we'll eat them tomorrow here. All right. It's the blue moon tomorrow. The super blue moon. It's gonna. That's gonna be nice. 
Oh yeah, charge your crystals too, I suppose, huh? Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Damn. I was like, man, I'm gonna go outside tomorrow and watch the moon and somebody's a spirit just said, No, you're not. <laughs> spirit said, No, you're not. No, you're not. So I guess I won't be. Damn. Can't do nothing. Scabs, Karmix, Narmix, and Bears, oh my. Can I get a, uh, thank you, Spirit. Like attracts like. This keeps coming out. And what goes wrong comes wrong keeps coming out too. So like attracts like. So think only positive thoughts. I feel like that's very important here. Especially if you're doing any type of manifestation work. Um, and it's, you know, I got to be honest and tell you guys, it is it is hard. It is hard. Especially, um so if you're somebody that um, is trying to manifest somebody or something or some you know something like that and it doesn't seem like it's happening your mind will go to well maybe it's not gonna happen and then that will that could I'm not gonna say it will that could compromise whatever it is you're trying to draw in uh, what is the thing the thing about manifestation the thing about manifestations that I truly and honestly believe is this you can part the uh, one of the biggest things I feel like about manifestations and this is just my opinion I don't know this for a fact is you you kind of have to you have to manifest something that's for you I mean I could be wrong you you know what I'm saying so like I don't know let's say like you're trying to manifest a, a very sp a specific kind of job here um, and you um you're trying to manifest a very a specific job and then you get the, but it's not, but you, maybe you don't get it because it's not meant for you. You know, I really kind of, I, I, I do believe that there are people that manifest, can manifest whatever they want. I really do. Um, I don't know how they do that. I, 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 I believe that happens. I really do. Um, but overall, I, I don't know. I'm really kind of confused about that. Like, you know, can you manifest whatever you want? Maybe you can. Can you manifest whoever you want? I don't believe that. No, 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 no. I don't believe that because that's that's free will kind of thing. But like, I don't know. I guess what I'm saying is that I've been in situations in the past, but now that I'm more into spirituality, the the concepts of it, the the, the modalities of it, and things like that, um, you know, you have to. I guess you know, patience. I, I guess if you feel like something is for you. Hell, if you feel like even someone is for you, if you if it's undeniable, you know what I'm saying? Like you, I feel like I feel like everybody knows deep within their heart whether or not you and somebody are meant for each other. I also feel like that works as you know with like maybe job opportunities or uh, just things. I don't know. I just really kind of feel like if you're if you're really working to manifest something, if you're trying to put, draw something in or attract something to you, it has to be a match. Otherwise, why would Two magnets, you know, two, two, you know, flip magnets on the other side. They don't attract. They they separate. You know, it's kind of like trying to attract bees with shit. It doesn't work. Now, if you want flies, yeah, def definitely. If you if you if you're honey, then you'll attract bees. If you're full of shit, then you're just gonna get flies. Right. But think positive thoughts in the meantime. If it, if it doesn't, I I what I'm starting to learn is this. I'm starting to just understand that. Things don't always manif things manifest for us, but maybe not right when we want them. I feel like once you go through the once you once you go through this whole kind of spiritual awakening and you and you're developing your gifts, you're developing your your soul, you're developing as a person. The universe will that tells the universe, okay, I'm ready now. So by you telling the universe, I'm ready now, that's kind of attracting something or calling something in. I don't know. I'm not a manifestation expert. I'm just really not. Okay. I just always try to maintain positive thoughts. There are, you know, daily. It's like that ain't never, I, you know, sometimes my, there's a part of me that goes, that's never going to happen. And then I have to remind myself, yes, it is. You know what I'm saying? Just whatever. I just, I, whatever, whatever what, all I ever try to do is I really just say some good things are going to happen for me. But I feel like you also have to be specific. I don't know. Let's get on with this. Okay. What are these? And there goes the magic hat, which is a witch bitch, a dangerous witch 
Confirmation with the shark here too and the police. I cannot make this shit. <laughs> ah, look. There's a witch bitch. That's a shark. You know, shark is a predator. Circling around. There's a witch bitch circling around and I, I feel like the police are right on that ass. Okay. <laughs> ah there's a witch bitch circling around man and the police are right there watching i'm sure the police are watching <laughs> let me get some cards on this shit The tower in the reverse was at the bottom of the deck. Okay, the tower at the, 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 the tower in the reverse was at the bottom of the deck. So, a tower. There's about to be some type of tower moment in the reverse. So something hasn't happened quite yet. Okay. Let's give this a shuffle here. Archangel Michael, please clear out the energy for the rest of this reading, so I give a clear and concise message to the collective. I would like to ask that uh, any dark anything that uh, I would like to ask to return to sender ten times fold, guided with love and light. Things that do not belong to me from sources known and unknown. So mode to be, so mode to be, so mode to be, and so it is, okay? This person could be a Virgo, a negative Virgo energy, okay? Now, this could be a, a wizard or a witch. It's a witch hat, but, you know, that just represents magic or maybe like some type of, no, it's, it's a person wearing a hat, okay? Yep, they're spying. I'm telling you, they're spying. They are spying, stalking, watching, lurking. Okay, they could be hiding somewhere. Or they're maybe they're watching because you're heavily guarded right now. Okay. We got the six of six of uh pinnacles in the reverse. So it talks about um an unequal give and take. Or maybe this is somebody that you're no longer giving and receiving with, and they are pissed. Then they, these this person is very impulsive right now. Could be somebody younger than you as well, but I feel I feel like I feel like there's a there's a with the nine of with the nine of sword nine of wands here, like whoever you are, you're heavily like there's maybe you live like in a gated community or you got some protection around you. To me, this speaks about a person lying in wait, is what I just heard here. This is somebody because you're no longer giving and receiving with this person, they're pissed. Okay, give me another card, please. Telling you, four cups. One more. Queen of Pentacles. That's what we're talking about here. So we're definitely talking about a feminine energy here. Uh, female. It doesn't have to be, but well, you know how this works. There's no gender in tarot unless it clearly shows. But whoever this person is, they are watching. They are they are stalking. Okay. They're trying to find a way to get in. I feel like I feel like whoever you are, either you live you live in some maybe a secure building, you live behind a gate, or you got bodyguards. I don't know, but this is your energy here. Mm hmm. This is you. This is why this person this person is it's like you're standing guard. It's like they're waiting to catch you off guard. That this person is waiting to catch you off guard. This person uh, either now this person could feel like you owe them something. Yeah, I feel like maybe this person feels like you owe them something or maybe they maybe they owe you something. But there's there's a debt here that somebody is not happy about. They feel like somebody I feel like somebody feels like something wasn't fair um, or they feel like you owe them something. Clarify the Knight of Swords here. Relax. That's too many. That's way too many. Okay. No. Can I get one card, please? One card, please. Why is it? Oh, okay. Queen of Wands. I took which bitch? A Leo. A Leo fire sign feminine energy is stalking your ass 
waiting on the right opportunity with the tower in the reverse again. This person is waiting on the right opportunity to surprise, to pop up on your ass. This is the, I'm telling you, this is, this is what they're doing. They've been planning this for a very long time too. Yeah, oh yeah, this person is heartbroken. This person is pissed. Whoa. This person could be sending you nasty messages on social media. Mm -hmm. This person's gonna act a fool in public. This person, this person acts a fool, acts a fool in public is what I just heard. Oh yeah, they're waiting. Yep, they're waiting on the right moment to get your ass. They've been they've been plotting and planning this shit for a minute. Seven of Pentacles here. They've been plotting. Four of Cups here. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Refusal of an offer. So the police, you could have possibly had to get the police involved. This person is dangerous because there's that shark there. So you may have you may have like an order for protection on this person. Or you may have had to recently call the police on this person because you've seen this person maybe circling around your neighborhood. Something like that, okay? is something you, you I feel like you called it quits like you refused to offer you didn't want to move forward with this person so now they're mad there's somebody the queen of pentacles is also out here too so this is somebody that's very materialistic this person is very mad so maybe you're not giving this person money anymore with the six of pentacles out here I feel like that's what's really kind of written you know has this person in a sense of rage listen you know you and this person go way back to this is about memories. There's something that you won't forget. This is something that there's a memory here. This is why something that you'll never forget is what I just heard with the four. That's why that's why you're rejecting this this offer. You no longer want to be bothered. You're bored or something. But there's something a memory here that you will never forget. Tell me about this. Whether something from the past here, or maybe this is maybe there's a lot of sixes. There's a six out here again. So sixes could be very significant. Again, you don't want to move forward with somebody. Page of Pentacles here. There's something here about possibly. Maybe you guys got children together. Page of Pentacles here. Oh, wow. Did you find out maybe that the ch child's not yours? Oh, yeah, there we go. There's two children in this picture. So maybe you found out one of these children was not yours. Yeah, not your family. Ten of Pentacles here represents legacy, family, uh, windfall of money. Uh, but this, to me, talks about legacy now. I'm really picking up on the fact that you found out one of these children was not your children. Yeah. That's what I heard. Give me another card, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so you blocked this person. That's enough. You're not speaking to this person. You have this person blocked, okay? Queen of Pentacles here. You're definitely single now, or you want to be. You definitely left the situation, okay? You no longer want to be with this person. There's a need to be single here. You probably already are single, okay? Queen of Pentacles here. Clarify Queen of Pentacles. This person is a Leo. No. They don't want to let it go. They refuse to let it end. They refuse to let it go. They're not accepting the ending here. Uh, somebody, somebody's Delulu, okay? refuse to accept defeat i can't make this up they refuse to accept the loss here they don't want to let it go uh tell me why they don't want to let it go though i mean she is the queen of pentacles in the reverse which means she's probably more concerned about money than anything but you never know maybe this person does love you that's too many cards can i get one card please The Empress, there we go. I'm telling you, she, so what am I hearing here? Yep, you two are married. There's some type of marriage here. Very, very, you two are married. I feel like this, I feel like this, <clears throat> so we got the Queen of Pentacles here to the Empress. <clears throat> this is a kept woman, a kept woman like a queen. You treated, you treated this woman like a queen. She does not want to let that go. That's what it is. She doesn't want to lose the title of the Empress, the queen in your life. But it's but it but it but it's all based upon finances with the Queen of Pentacles here in the reverse. This person only really cares about money. 
Uh, you see she has like the tiara on, the crown on, so you probably decked her out. You know, they see the nice little, the nice little, um, what they used to call the, 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 hair, the herringbone, herringbone chain, big thick ass gold chain, jewels and shit. She sits pretty like that. Yeah, you treated this woman like a queen, okay? She's, this is who's outside spying on your ass now. I'm not, and I don't really, because the page of, the page of swords can talk about um, online uh, stalking, like watching somebody's social media. No, this person is physically in your area. 33 and o'clock when I look down, okay? California could be significant. I'm telling you, refusing to walk away. She's not. <laughs> Ooh wee, yeah, because this cycle's a done deal, baby. You, she, you, you're not even going back to this person. Nope, they don't. They don't want to walk away from this though. What else do you need to know? Shit. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but man. I feel like we've all been there before, though. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, hell yeah, I've been strung out in the past and refused to walk away from somebody. You know, I didn't act a fool before in the past. Hell yeah, I have. Especially when you're in love with somebody or you think you are anyways. But there's something about, uh, especially, oh, Mercury retrograde, too. There's something about, so Mercury retrograde. Yeah. Uh, but there's something about, I feel like people, um, I don't know. I think I think that we're all being called called these days to, to lead, to walk away from things that are no longer serving our highest good. Even if people, if something has been dissolved and maybe somebody has had an awakening like, oh, damn, like I really, really fucked up with that person. And they want to get back in. I don't really I, I don't feel like the I don't really feel like that's where we I mean, do what you want to do. Um, but in my just from my personal experience here. No, mm -mm. I feel like I feel like we've all kind of been through the ringers and even on both sides, though. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like if we if I were to go. If I were to go backwards or if I were to revisit a situation with somebody I was in a relationship with that went south and, 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 and they, you know, say that, you know, they, they, they see the light now, they see where they made the mistakes, can they get another chance? And if I were to do that, not only would I be moving backwards, but I feel like that would just, because it was a karmic cycle. Some things, some things we don't come back from. And I really kind of feel like no matter, I don't really, the way that I like to look at things now, if somebody were to see the light and say, well, hell, I took this, I took, I took Dwayne for granted, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But you know, it's one thing, it's one thing to take some people for granted and kind of fuck up in a relationship. Things kind of go a little south, but the things that I'm talking about people in my past have done, hell no. Nah. I don't care if they've seen the light. I don't care if they've been delivered. I don't care if they, you know, if Jesus Christ came down and shook their hand and said they have changed. At some point, I really just kind of feel like, and I don't no disrespect to Jesus Christ, but no, but what I'm pretty much saying is that, at some point, a person I feel like remembers like, if given the opportunity to 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 repeat certain cycles, I definitely I definitely feel like they would, just because just because there's an acceptance there of what they've done in the past, because some things I feel like just are are really kind of unforgivable not unforgivable like you can't forgive somebody but the whole kind of energy behind it generally speaking is unforgivable uh, I feel like going back to the past to people that have really kind of done some things some really horrible things does not it, it leaves way too much room for error because you know especially if you're dealing with a man a man's like well shit they forgave me this time after after I messed up all this see most men go yeah, that, man, that, that, I can't believe he or she forgave me for everything that I've done in the past, man. Shit, if they forgave me for that, I could pretty much get away with anything else. That's the way I kind of feel about it. So I just really kind of feel like you would be doing, I, I, well, let me speak for me. I feel like I would be doing the other, the, the person that I used to be with a huge disservice because I, it, it just pulls back. I just really feel like this, these, these were karmic ties. 
These weren't this, these weren't high vibrational connections that went south. These were just karmic ties to learn a lesson and move on. Okay. What's the advice for the collective here? This is a quick message. I'm, I'm with it. Four of the four of pinnacles here. Four of pinnacles. Ten of cups. Protect your peace. Protect your family. You could have already moved on. I really feel like the ten of pinnacles, though, is I heard protect your peace. So protect your peace. I'm seeing two kids again. King of so King of Swords. You might you might have to call the call, call the police because the King of Swords is somebody that carries a weapon, an official person. Um, protect yourself. I'm not gonna tell you how, but this King of Swords here tells me that you are somebody. Yep. There you go. There you go, Emperor. Protect yourself. Step man up. Stand up. Do what you gotta do to protect your peace. Protect your family. I don't know why I'm picking up on the fact that, yeah, you might have found out that one of these kids wasn't yours, but why do you still have two of them in this picture? You're still taking care of the other kid, which I'm not knocking. I feel like, you know, if you got a relationship with the child, it's already a done deal. But it does seem as if maybe because I'm picking up heavily on the two kids here um, that maybe you still maybe you have custody of both of these children or maybe the children are with you now. But you have to. You're going to, I feel like the, you're going to, because with the police out here, you're going to have to call the police on this person. That's the advice here. Protect yourself here. Anything else? Yeah, you're the man of the, you're, you're the protector. You're the emperor here. King of swords here. Stand your ground. Make it, a, it's a be, be very kind of smart about how you're dealing with this person as well. But this, this sword here is, is about protection. It's about protection. Okay. So protect, protect your peace under no circumstances. Yeah. Don't don't even go back to it. Don't even call. You don't even want. I don't even feel like you want to collaborate with this person. Actually, I think you're very happy not collaborating with this person anymore. All right. Anything else here for the collective? Four of swords in the reverse. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person, she, because whoever this is, is not gonna let it go. No, this person's not gonna let it go. I feel like with this this. This person is acting a fool around your house. I'm telling you here. They want to turn your house upside down. They don't want you to get any sleep. This person could really be calling your phone. This person could be coming by the house, driving by the house, knocking at the door. I feel like maybe you've been dealing with that. Yeah, this is the way. This is this is the, this is this is what's going on here. What else? Yeah, I'm telling you. This person that you you're you're ready. This person has not been letting you rest. There's been some type of. It's in the reverse though. What else? What else? Ace of Wands, man, in the reverse. Clarify, please. This person could be doing witch. This person's just, she's a witch. She's doing witchcraft on you. Yeah, this person is definitely a heathen. With the, with the star in the reverse here, this person is nightmares. Yeah, nightmares because you refuse to collaborate with them. This person is doing some witchcraft over your, like your mentals or something here. You could be having nightmares. Yeah, with a fortune in the reverse. You might be having a hard time just kind of balancing or managing to again. There's something that you're doing here by yourself that you're, this person is not helping with, especially with the way that they're acting, okay? Uh, I can't tell nobody how to do their spiritual protection, um, but I feel like a lot of what this person is doing is very energetic. I feel like this person is doing things like calling your phone, hanging up, sending you nasty messages online. She may even have other people uh, assisting her with doing this, like harassment. But this person is doing something uh, you could, like I said, I really picking up the star in the reverse talks about uh, like in the upright. It's a wish come true. I feel like this person's a fucking nightmare now, especially with the will of fortune in the reverse. OK, you're just not having a very good time with this person here. What else? Knight of Pentacles here.
King of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you got tired of this shit. What is this? You are the way. Yeah, you're tired of it. You've been dealing with this for a long time. This person has been draining your finances as well. Confirmation, King of Pentacles here. And all you did was love this person. Yeah, this is who you are. This person wanted you to be the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles in the reverse is, is a trick, is a sugar daddy, okay? That's your, the John, and she'd be the whore. But more or less the trick. Yeah, she, yeah, you were, you, you were got tired of playing, being a trick for this person. This is who you truly are. You're the King of Cups. You're somebody who likes to love, okay? Yeah, that's why you married this person. You do believe in that, but the marriage was nothing but a bunch of drama. That's all, that's all that happened. Okay, and this person, yeah, this person and their actions, this king, this knight of wands actions, that's what you, that's, this is what came in after you married the person. You married a whore. Okay, somebody who acts a damn fool. Fool in the reverse, okay? Who didn't love you. Who didn't love you. It was an unrequited love situation. And you needed to detach yourself. You made a very high vibrational choice with the lovers here. You left this. You broke it off. It was too toxic for you. So you did. You made a, a good choice for you to make you happy. It was a hard choice. It was a hard decision though with the judgment card in the reverse here. But you had to do what you had to do. And you walked away without any type of regrets here. You don't regret. I mean you may have some regrets. You could possibly from this relationship. But you, you did what you had to do to make yourself happy. And your kids again talking about children here you you did what was right for the kids you stopped collaborating with this person and that brought on some karma for this lady okay i feel like you i feel like you realized that this was nothing but a karmic cycle that you were in here as well okay with this queen of cups in the reverse okay had you trapped probably even thrown in this bitch going to jail g yeah because she's bad news you're gonna have to call the police on her have her arrested she's bad news you feel me all right She's not by herself either. She's not by herself either. No, she's not. She's not by herself. She got somebody else with her or who's hiding and watching from the dark or somewhere watching as well. There's a king of wands here. I'm not sure who this king of wands is, but again, call the police on these people. That's the end of this message. Three, two, one on the clock. Yep. Somebody could be a Pisces, Pisces, Aries, Cusper. Yeah, she's not alone. No, she's not alone either. She's with the she's with the King of Wands here. Who uh, who could be they could be a Virgo, but this talks about somebody like waiting outside. I'm just really picking up on the fact that this person, whoever this is, got somebody with them and they're looking to to, to probably hurt you or something because they are. I'm telling you, circling around. Call the police. That's the end of this message. I'm just gonna go ahead and upload it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload, you feel me? I'm glad I came back on to give you this warning. I'm not sure if this is happening tonight, but it appears as if this is something that's kind of happening now, all right? But uh, until then, uh, be safe. I hope everybody has a wonderful night. I love you, baby, and deuces. Seven.